It looks like we might actually be getting some more music from Steve Perry. So let's check out what could potentially be coming from the former lead singer of Journey. Welcome back to Pixel Positive Music, where we cover everything from classic rock to synth pop and everything else music related. Uh, this is an incredible music loving community and if you're interested in joining you should definitely hit that subscribe button below. Um, we've got all kinds of content in the backlog from Journey to some other stuff and so much more content planned. So with that let's get to the video. Since Steve Perry made his musical comeback in 2018 with the single No We Racin and the album Traces, his musical output has been very sporadic. It's not surprising his musical output in the past 30 years has been very sporadic. Uh, we went from 94 all the way to 2018 without an album. And I mean, Traces was a decent enough album. I think I'm probably going to review it at some point, but um, we haven't gotten much from him. Uh, we did in 2019, we got a little holiday EP, Silver Bells, and then we got a full holiday album this season last year. Um, and then we've got the acoustic version of Traces, which you can see behind me there, um, in, in between some of that stuff. Um, so, Steve Perry's musical output has been sporadic. But it looks like we might still be getting some new music from him, uh, which I think is great. I um, think that Steve Perry is an incredible singer. Obviously, I think he's a wonderful musician, and I want to hear music from him as much as I possibly can. And it seems like Steve's musical output at this point in time is stuff he wants to do. He wants to just put out music um, just for the sake of doing it and recording it and, you know, putting stuff out. And I can really respect that. Um, so his, he recently put out a TikTok, um, which, you know, Steve Perry joined TikTok. Uh, he put out a TikTok it's a video, a little short video of him in his studio. Um, he's talking in his studio, rocking the gray hair, um, about the holidays. He's looking at Christmas lights. He's talking about um, his holiday assistants, which are like like little Santa, little, you know, little Christmas figurines. And then he breaks into a little acapella song um, that maybe this year, um, and it's great. It's acapella, so, you know, no instruments or anything, but it showcases Steve Perry's vocals. He's a great singer. We all know this. So, um, he's been kind of dropping some hints here and there on social media about uh, maybe this year. And so, maybe we're going to get a single. Maybe we're going to get a full album. Maybe we're going to get an EP. I don't really know. Um, probably... My guess would probably be maybe a few singles, um, but who knows? He could just drop an album. It's Steve Perry. It's how he gave us traces. We got Radio Silence for years, and then we had No Erasing, and then a whole album. So who knows what we're going to get with uh, maybe this year. Um, it is, like I said, this song is obviously Christmas-themed. The video is Christmas-themed, yet here we are in October. So... I have mixed feelings on the subject matter. Um, I thought Traces was an, a decent album. It's not like my favorite. It's, you know, it's a bit slower. It's a bit lighter. And I think that that suits Steve's voice at this point in his life better. And I think he realizes that. And I respect it. If he That's the kind of music he wants to put out, so be it. Um, I enjoyed the season. It was a fun album to listen to, especially around Christmas. Um, I do have Silver Bells on vinyl, um, which is awesome, but, you know, it, I really w was hoping to see more like a traditional album from him, um, like it's just a regular, like, rock album, or even if it had to be, you know, slower or acoustic, just something that's not quite so holiday themed, but that being said, um, I'll take what I can get. And I think as fans, if we, you know, we want to hear Steve Perry, we should be excited for whatever he's going to put out, even if it's slower, maybe a little bit, you know, lighter than what he did when he was in his heyday. I mean, he's in his 70s now. 
he's not going to be putting out these fast, heavy rockers that he did in the 80s, and I'm okay with that. Um, but I'm just excited that he's not, you know, done. He, we, he, we are going to get some new music from him. Uh, I'm eagerly looking forward to anything he puts out, as always, just like I am Journey. So, you know, I want to know what you guys think. Uh, I will put a link down below to the article uh, from Ultimate Classic Rock where I read about this, and they also have the TikTok video. So you can watch that little clip. It's like less than a minute. And you can actually hear him sing the, some acapella on this. Uh, I would expect with him promoting it like this, we should probably get a release from this song very soon. Um, he might wait till Christmas, but I don't think so. Uh, with the season and Silver Bells, he put that stuff out before the holidays, which is what you want to do. You'll put that stuff out before the holidays so that people buy it for the holidays. So um, definitely check out that link. You know, um, listen to the, the acapella, listen to the song, or the little bit that we get. Let me know what you think about Steve, new music from Steve Perry. Um, what did you think of Traces and Silver Bells and everything else? You know, definitely let me know in the comments. If you haven't yet, hit subscribe. Um, I know that, once again, um, release schedule has been a bit sporadic with the channel, just like Mr. Steve Perry. Um, I, I was out of town last week. I'm starting a new job this week. So it's been a little hectic. But we're getting getting back into a normal release schedule. I want to touch on some more stuff with Journey, um, specifically on live performances. I have some reviews outside of Journey that I have a backlog of. Um, I mean, it's work on getting caught up on. Um, so we have lots of content to look forward to, as always. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel so much. We are so, so close to 300 subscribers. That's amazing. We are, that will put us 30% of the way to my personal big, big goal of 1,000. So I'm very, very happy about that. Uh, we are building an incredible community here at Pixel Positive Music, and I'm so, so thrilled. So I will see you guys at the next video.